Yeah, look, uh, he'll go and have a scan probably tomorrow and we'll know a little bit more, but obviously it didn't look good and generally when it doesn't look good, it's, it's probably not good, but we'll just wait and see. Yeah, no, mate, we're all concerned. Um, he's in, um, obviously, on crutches. He'll be examined uh, tomorrow, but obviously it didn't look good. It's probably not good, but we'll just wait and see. Yeah, well, he's, he's got some sort of knee injury. Uh, he's on crutches. Um, he's back in the dressing room with us. Yeah, look, you know, we'd, we prefer to be on eight points. We're on six points. Uh, really pleased with the attitude of the players today, the positivity, the energy... Uh, execution, we've still got a little bit of work to do, but that's okay. Uh, and we'll get ready for Wales. Um, Bob said to us how you never quite know what Johnny May is going to do at any given moment. Um, just talk me through your thoughts on that remarkable finish that is Brian. Uh, we've obviously been watching rugby league tapes. Uh, NRL, that's a fairly traditional way to finish, smart way to finish. Um, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I thought he was better at number eight than he was on the wing. Um, and he, uh, yeah, he looks sharp, mate, really good. You know, he's getting back to his best form. He had a difficult time after the World Cup, number of injuries, um, wasn't at his best in autumn, uh, but he's had a really good training period now and he's, and he's definitely coming back to his best. I was really pleased with, you know, if you, if you look at that team for the last 30 minutes, I think we had three guys over the age of 26, um, all young guys, uh, full of energy, and they're just going to help ma take the team forward. Oh, look, we've got to get better set-piece dominance. Uh, we haven't, in the two games so far, been able to exert enough consistent pressure in the scrum or, or through our line-out. Um, and, and our ability to uh, execute opportunities, they'd be the two areas. Uh, well, I think, as, I, as I've explained, last week we gave the players too much information, some of the wrong information. Whenever you do that to a team, unfortunately, it takes away a bit of energy. Um, and that's how we played last week. This week we uh, prioritised the information a lot better, had a much uh, more concise and, and, and uh, a week full of good clarity and the players played with good energy. Ah, uh, yes, he will, mate. Uh, and the incident itself, it looked like Negri was on the floor when he, he rolled Jack Willis down. Is that something that you think is going to be brought up? How, what do you make of that? Yeah, I've got no comment to make on that, mate. Do you, um, you don't feel that the, the way in which he was cleared out was, was wrong then? Ah, uh, well, that's up to the referee to interpret. Uh, look, again, I always leave those things to the referee. The referee's got to make a decision on whether it's safe or not and we abide by whatever the decision the referee makes. In terms of Johnny May's finish, is that something he's practised in training at all or is that just instinctive? Uh, well, I think he's had a look at videotapes of it. Um, yeah, it's a very common way of scoring tries in the NRL and, and I know during the World Cup the guys... Guys did some practice. He might have done some practice by himself. I haven't seen him.
do it at training as such, but he's such a uh, a great try scorer, mate. Uh, he's always looking to see how he can score a try. Oh, look, um, we, we were a bit slow into the game. Uh, I thought it was a, uh, it ended up being a good thing for us. I think whenever you're playing against a team you're supposed to supposed to win against, uh, if they score early, it sharpens you up a little bit. So I wasn't uh, too perturbed. I was, in fact, uh, thought it'd have a positive effect, and it did.